So we actually have Mitsuku, one of the chatbots who's competing in your competition today. And uh, Dr. Wallace, I believe you've actually got a computer there with you where we can fire some questions into okay. Mitsuku. Yes. Um, so would you would you mind typing perhaps this as a first question? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Mitsuku. Uh, you're starring on Head Squeeze today. Do you know what Head Squeeze is? So this is obviously being fed into Mitsuku's brain. Steve, you actually created Mitsuku, didn't you? That's right, yes. Um, originally, I used to make um, have dance music just as a hobby. And um, I uh, um, sort of got into the uh, world of chatbots after seeing one on a, a fellow producer's uh, music site. Um, so I've decided to put one on my site. And I found that I was getting more people coming to visit me for the chatbot than for the uh, actual music. So I decided to knock the music on the head and um, concentrate solely on the chatbot. Um, I uh, was approached then by a, a games company, uh, Mousebreaker.com, who uh, wanted me to create um, this Mitsuku chatbot for their website. And I've been sort of concentrating on it ever since. It's, uh, it's just a hobby for me. It's just something I do in my spare time. But it's something I, I really enjoy doing. Nice work, Steve. Yeah. It actually answered the question about head squeeze accurately. Oh, really? Oh, good. That's, good. That's, that's, Could you read the answer, people, please? Looks at cool things in science. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's a bang on description. Well, that's very exciting. And so, uh, Dr. Wallace, you actually um, you've you've entered and uh, had a, a had a bot win. Is were your bots as advanced as that? Would they know what head squeeze was? Uh, yes, my my chatbot Alice has won the uh, Loebner contest three times. Uh, this year we have three of the entries using the same underlying software technology as Alice. Uh, Alice is not one of the competitors, but Mitsuku and two of the others are using the same AIML technology uh, that we used uh, with Alice. I don't think Alice would answer this question accurately, though. Let's ask a slightly bigger question that maybe only a robot may know, have secret knowledge to. Uh, this is uh, from Ayad Hawa on YouTube, and the question is, is there alien life? Could you uh, possibly put that in for us, please, Dr. Wallace? OK. And if you do want to send in any questions for those watching, you can either put them in the comments below, or you can go to Twitter and use the hashtag AskAChatbot. We're going to try and get as many questions in as possible. So Mitsuka replied, uh, yes, it would be strange if the Earth was the only planet in the entire universe that had life on it. Well, we got another question in now from Mitsuku. It's come from Sandman730. I wants to know uh, who is Mitsuku's favorite Star Trek character? Is it Kirk or Picard? This uh, we've obviously got a lot of um, interested geeks tuning in today, wanting to know the big questions. The Doctor Who ones will be next. Do you think well, Mitsuku can do this, Steve? I think she can work out my favorite Star Trek character. I think she may struggle with, um, is it Kirk or Picard? I think okay. she needs to make a random choice. She said, my favorite character is the computer, not Commander Data, but the disembodied computer voice, usually female, we hear in the background. That's a fantastic answer. I mean, so far, I'm not, I'm not hearing any deviation from the questions, or I'm totally convinced. Okay, this one's more of a medical question, I'm guessing. It's from SLS Guru 2000 Why am I tired after a long sleep? If you don't mind, Dr. Wallace, putting that in. Why am I tired after a long sleep? The reason is due to my mental model of you as a client. The reason is due to my... Perhaps not an accurate uh, response to this question. No, on that one, it, it, I don't think it, made, it knew what, what am I tired. Uh, sorry, why am I tired? So it's just answered, why am I? Like, why am I your friend? Why am I here? It's just yes. a, a generic answer to that one. It's but now I've seen that one, I can include it. Ready for uh, Saturday. <laughs> well, we've got another question here for um, Mitsuku. What is hiding underneath my bed? That's from Just a Happy Fellow. Not sure how it will cope with this. One. Yeah, Steve, you must know, <laughs> you must in advance know what uh, I, questions are going. I think it may it may be able to answer this. 
something that doesn't want to be found. <laughs> so again, the, it, it's, it's the key. <laughs> 